the mind is a compulsive wanderer, has trouble staying with anything for any length of time. So much so that we think that that's its nature, is to just keep going and going, thinking of this, thinking of that. Checking out things over here, over there. And we forget that one of the reasons the mind keeps wandering like this, is so compulsive about wandering like this, is because it doesn't have a good home. doesn't like staying in the present moment, because it doesn't feel at ease in the present moment. A lot of what the meditation accomplishes is to create a sense of being at home right here, right now. The Pali term for this is vihara dhamma, a quality of the present moment that can be a home for the mind. So as you settle down to meditate, Think of it as moving into a house that you want to make into a home. And what are the steps? Well, the first thing is you've got to go in and start cleaning things out. So this is why we focus on the breath, because the breath is an energy that permeates the whole body. It's not just the air coming in and out of the lungs. That's the effect of the breath energy in the body. The breath energy in the body is what gives life to your nerves, lets you know that you have a body, and allows you to move it around. Now, a lot of that energy is very subtle, so to begin with, you focus on the parts that you can notice. The breath coming in, the breath going out. Track a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. To see how deep and long breathing feels. If it feels good, keep it up. Try to maintain that sense of well-being. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Make it shorter, or have long in and short out breaths, or short in and long out breaths. You can make it heavier or lighter, even deeper or more shallow. Experiment. And even though you may not sense the breath energy in the different parts of the body, at least hold that perception in mind, that mental label that the whole body is breathing in, the whole body is breathing out. The energy can flow. If you sense any tension or tightness in the body, that's a sign that the breath energy is blocked. So think of it relaxing it. You can go through the body systematically. You can start at the navel, watch that for a while until everything feels easy and open there, and then move up the solar plexus, the chest, base of the throat, middle of the head, and then down the spine, past the hips, down the legs to the tips of the toes. And then start again at the back of the neck, and this time go down the shoulders and the arms out to the tips of the fingers. If you're not sure if if there's any excess tension, you might compare the left to the right sides of your body. Which side has more tension? Add any particular spot in the body, say at the waist, in the hips, down the legs. Which knee has more tension? Which shin? Which foot? Whichever one has more tension, focus on relaxing it. And then go through the body again and again. You're cleaning out this house, trying to make it a home. But in the course of cleaning it out, you're also connecting up the, the electricity 
In other words, you're energizing the body as well. But it's a still energy. And John Lee calls it cool electricity. In other words, it's not like the hot electricity of your greed, anger, and delusion. It's a cool electricity of awareness, being aware of the whole body, breathing in the whole body, breathing out. So that your home is clean and bright. Try to breathe in a way that gives you a sense of fullness. That puts food into your house as well. After you've been through the, the body several times, think of every cell in the body as being full of energy. and It's not squeezed when you breathe in, it's not squeezed when you breathe out. The energy permeates everything, but it doesn't disturb anything. It just keeps everything awake, alert. And that way you begin to move into your home. The next step is learning how to stay there. This is slightly different. Staying in the present moment requires a sense of balance. It requires a lot of alertness. Because it's so easy for the mind to shift off into other things, especially when you're at ease. It may be, seem paradoxical. We don't settle down in the present moment because it's uncomfortable, but then when we do settle down, the mind starts drifting. So you have to be very conscious of whole body every time you breathe in, whole body every time you breathe out. Think of your body as a big, wide television screen. And every now and then a little picture will form in some spot on the screen. A little knot of energy will develop, and if you're not careful, that will turn into another thought world. So think of your awareness as a spider on the web. The spider is in one spot, but the web extends throughout the whole body. So as soon as there's a disturbance in any part of the web, you go there unravel it, and then come back to your spot, whichever spot in the body you find to be congenial as home base. So you're still but watchful. Still and alert. And a thought of boredom may come up. So, well, what happens next? And you have to remind yourself, nothing happens next, at least not right now. Things will happen next, but they're not going to happen because your boredom is pushing you to go. You want the state of staying right here to ripen, to develop. And it's not going to ripen by your moving around a lot. You move around just enough to make sure that no thoughts pull you out of this world, of the we hard to tell this home for the mind and into another wandering world. But that's it. So that general antsiness that keeps you moving. You have to learn how not to give into it. Because part of the mind likes the antsiness you feel. When the mind gets moving like this, then there's entertainment, there's fun, there's something new. But all that entertainment basically turns into dust. Out of the thoughts you have in the course of the day, what percentage is, that, is actually useful and actually beneficial? It's a very small percentage. And it wastes the mind's energy. So you want to give it practice in just staying very still and devoting its energy to protecting that stillness. And the more you can stay here with the stillness, the greater the energy develops. The ener it's a different kind of energy from the wandering energy. It feels healthy, whole, W-H-O-L-E, 
healing for every sense of lack or discomfort in the body or the mind. So this way your home has food and medicine. It's a well-stocked home now. It's a comfortable home. But as with many forms of medicine, like the creams you put on a rash, it takes time for the healing to go deep. So give this state of mind time. You're sitting here at the moment with no other responsibilities. There's nowhere else you have to go, nothing else you have to do. Just try to be here at home in the body, at home with the breath, feeding the mind on a sense of ease, whatever sense of ease or rapture you can find. Maybe rapture can be a too strong word, whatever ease and refreshment you can find. Just by breathing in whatever way feels really good right now. And then once the breath feels good, try to maintain that sense of whole body awareness. If it shrinks, you're likely to drift off. So work at keeping your awareness filling the body all around, all directions. And whatever sense of pleasure comes up, you, you don't take that as your object. You know it's there, but you stay with the breath. Even as the breath grows still, it will grow more and more calm, more and more refined. You don't have to pump it in. Just If the body needs to breathe more, it will breathe more. But if it doesn't, there's a sense of ease that comes from, from not having to breathe very much. And allow that sense of ease to drench the body to suffuse the mind. Try to find the point of balance between the in-breath and the out-breath, and focus on that sense of balance. And you find that it leads to a sense of lightness. See if you can maintain that sense of balance for the hour. If you slip off and start wandering around, start over again. See where in the body the breath energy is disturbed, or it doesn't feel comfortable, or it feels forced. Try to develop as much sensitivity as you can to the sense of energy in the body. All too often we ignore it because we're interested in other things outside. But here's your chance to give it all the attention it deserves, so the mind can have a home. If it's going to go thinking, tell it to think only when it really needs to. Otherwise you're going to stay right here, rested, refreshed, nourished. allowing body and mind to heal from all the jouncing around and knocking back and forth that there is out there in the world. Give it some time and space. <laughs>